Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Removing the Portrait Page After the Landscape Page. Here's the scenario. Sometimes you want your document to end on a landscape page, but there's a portrait page after it. To delete the portrait page, follow this video to learn how. If you watch the Section Breaks video, I added a landscape page in between two portrait pages. This document is similar because I have a landscape page between two portrait pages. Now I will delete the portrait page on page three, which is the last page in my document. So first I will click in the portrait page to be deleted. Now go to the page layout tab and in the page setup group, Click the down arrow on Orientation and select Landscape. Now you have to go into the header. Either double click in the header if you have one or go to the Insert tab, click it and in the Header and Footer group, select Header. And at the bottom of the group, select Edit Header. In the Navigation group, Click the link to previous. Confirm by selecting yes to the message asking you if you want to delete this header and footer and connect it to the header and footer in the previous section. Since we want to connect to the previous section, we will select yes. In the navigation group, click go to footer and do the same thing. Click the link to previous item. Select yes to the message. Now we want to close the header and footer. Click the red X in the close group. Now go to the home tab and in the paragraph group, select the show hide icon so that the section breaks are displayed. Place your cursor in the landscape page on page two and delete the section break. So put your cursor before the line that says section break and hit the delete key. Now I'm going to delete the words page three portrait because they were on page three and I don't need them. Now the last page in the document is the landscape page on page two. And that is the end of this lesson, removing the portrait page after the landscape page.